Hi, hello, good morning. My name is James and this is Big Ben. Come inside. How do you start your day at work? Well, honestly, normally with a cup of coffee, but then I take that cup of coffee and I walk around the preschool and I make sure that everything is stocked and ready for the day. What are you most proud of about your preschool? Definitely our staff. Like all of our staff members are highly experienced and qualified. I've also worked with them all in the past as well. And to start a preschool with a group of teachers who already know each other, who've already worked together, is a huge benefit, both for me as the preschool owner, but also as a teacher as well. What did you consider when choosing the location of your preschool? Um, definitely the central location is quite central. It's also right next to a tram stop, which is perfect. But one of the best things about this location is that there's a very large plot of land which we will use to build a quite a large pre, um, a, a quite a large playground on. What is usually the children's favorite moment of the day? Um, I would like to say circle time with me. This is like the English lesson time. But I think every kid prefers the freedom to play and do what they want. But that's also with me as well. So I'm quite happy with that. What do you like best about preschool management? Preschool management can be quite difficult, but the best thing about preschool management is definitely that when everything is managed well, everything runs smoothly and you can see the immediate effect in the classroom when all of the, the teachers know what their roles are and all of the extracurricular classes know what their roles are when they're supposed to come. Everything just runs very smoothly and is better for the children. Last steps before leaving the facility? Um, similar to the first steps, but without a cup of coffee this time. Um, I, I tend to walk around the preschool and make sure that everything is more or less clean for the, um, for the next day. And if there is anything which needs to be restocked, I take note of that. Which elements did you consider when choosing your catering service? Of course, the quality of the food is probably the most important. But another very important factor is that the catering service is located very close to our preschool. This ensures there are no delays with the delivery of food, and this also ensures that the food is piping hot. But another very important factor is because we're quite an international preschool, is that it caters to a very wider range of diets. Tea or coffee? Definitely coffee. I need the energy to function sometimes. What always cheers you up? Always getting positive feedback from parents when they tell me that their, the child couldn't wait to be back in the preschool or even that the child cried when they went home from the preschool because they loved it so much. Do you have your favourite children's song? Um, probably Over the Deep Blue Sea by Super Simple Songs. It's a, not really a traditional song, but it's a lot of fun to sing and children love it. There's a lot of movement games and a lot of actions your favorite movie and why? Definitely Harry Potter. You know, I grew up reading Harry Potter. It's about a magical school. And now I'm very fortunate to be working in a magical school. What mobile applications do you use the most often? Well, of course, I, I use uh, LiveKit. It's very convenient, convenient in terms of planning, in terms of communication with parents, and of course, paying bills. I hate bills. <laughs> what guilty pleasure could you not give up? Well, actually, uh, we go to kids' shops quite a lot with gems. We buy some toys, and it's 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 so pleasurable to see that p uh, the children are playing with those toys, they're so excited, they always scream, oh, that's something new. So it's really nice to see children happy and, well, we also sometimes play with those toys as well. What do you do to organize your day well? Well, that's a lot of planning, a lot of phone calls. And I find LiveKit application quite convenient to write small notes, to communicate with parents, to send small reminders and uh, to order catering. It helps me a lot. How many teachers work at Big Ben? We have a team of eight, including four teachers, teacher assistants and native speakers. The notice boards in the facility versus in the application. What do you choose? 
well of course application my phone is always with me my phone is always ringing so it's very convenient so i can make all of the noise all of the notes uh, to send all of the necessary information immediately and it's just there what is most important to you when recruiting teachers or communicating with them when recruiting teachers, the most important that is references, because sometimes I get CV, CV looks perfect, like just the best teacher ever. And then when you meet a person and specifically when you work with that person, sometimes it turns out that people are not really good with children. What inspires you the most? Well, of course, as James mentioned, that is nice feedback. I always very pleased to hear that children couldn't wait for Monday to come back. And also we have one girl in the classroom with no names and she, she never wants to leave preschool. Her mom has to wait like 15 minutes in the changing room asking her, let's go home. And she says, no, I love this place. I will stay overnight. So it inspires me a lot. What is the most time consuming aspect in running a preschool? That is accountancy. Uh, it takes a lot of time to check all of the bills, salaries, I don't know, invoices. And I would say that application helps a lot in terms of um, accountancy, uh, checking bills, what if parents have already paid or not, and also counting um, amount of ordered meals per month. Your favorite place in Big Ben is? Uh, I would say that is changing room because in the morning I can welcome children. They're so excited to come and I'm excited to tell that we have, for example, new toys and new activities. And also in the evening, telling parents that we achieved good results through the day. A childhood enjoyment you will never forget. Well, it happened that James and me, we are both from families of teachers. So uh, we both have those memories, but I specifically remember that my mom was working at the school and I was staying at the school long working hours. So I could see that school is closing and cleaners are coming and do them, doing their magic. So I felt like all of the building is just for me. Sometimes when I'm staying here long working hours and after the crazy working day, I see that preschool is getting calm and quiet and no one in here is something very special for me. Your way to settle bills at the facility is? Well, that's a lot, again, that's a lot of planning, that's a lot of writing, a lot of phone calls, but I can say that application helps me a lot, uh, with speci especially with bills and communication with parents. Would you rather speak any language or play any instrument? Well, I would rather speak any language. As I mentioned, we are quite international preschool and I wish I could speak every single language to find an approach to that specific child to calm uh, him or her down and talk to their parents and to observe their progress. Unfortunately, I speak English only here. Thank you very much for your visits and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.